All right, what's popping, y'all? It's the boy Amari, and we are back. And today we're doing something a little different. This is something that I've been working on for a little bit now, trying to uh, see how I can make this work, how I can, you know, get this to come across in my own way. Um, today we're going to be doing an album review. Yeah, that's right, an album review. We're not reacting to nothing. We're not throwing out random thoughts. These are calculated stuff that I've been listening to and thoughts that I've been writing down and revisiting for some time now. And um, I'm a bit nervous, I must say, just because of the fact this is my first time doing it. I know there's going to be some people with differing opinions. I know there's going to be some people who, you know, just always have something to say. Um, and that's fine. This is only my first attempt. I do plan on doing more, and I cannot wait to do more. And that being said, I am oh so excited just to jump into it and let you guys know what I thought about Royce the Five Nines The Allegory. So yeah, here goes. In his eighth studio album, Royce the Five Nine finds himself being able to once again cement himself as one of rap's heavyweights. Eight albums in, Royce to 5'9 has not let up. His pen stroke is as strong as ever, and his storytelling is as compelling and thrilling as always. While this album may be a bit of a departure from his once labeled rap god persona that he took on along with a fellow label mate Eminem, this nonetheless still showcases Royce to 5'9's lyricism his ability and precision with wordplay, his storytelling, ultimately showing us that while Eminem may find it difficult to find topics to speak on, Royce has no, no shortage of things to talk about. I find the track listing very interesting. My favorite tracks include Mr. Grace, which is the intro, Pendulum, Overcomer, Black Savage, Tricked, Dope Man, all of these tracks, Royce the Five Nine was able to show off his lyrical ability. The features on this album are no slouch either. Um, I mentioned before Black Savage, which is an incredibly feature heavy song with heavyweights Sahai the Prince and T.I. on it. I find myself ever so intrigued that while I may not have been a fan of Griselda, uh, to begin with, after listening to this album, I find myself wanting to go back and listen to more of Griselda. At first, I was not a fan of the voice of people like Benny the Butcher or West Side Gun. However, listening to this album, I find myself wanting to hear what they have to say and being able to push past what I thought was an incredibly annoying sound with their voice. Kid Vicious, while not being at the same stature as Royce the Five Nine himself, does also show his lyrical ability. I thoroughly enjoy Kid Vicious and have listened to some Kid Vicious outside of this album. That being said, Kid Vicious does only find himself on one track, whereas Ashley Sorrell, on the other hand, does find herself being on multiple tracks, as well as King Crooked, former group mate of Royce to 59 from Slaughterhouse, does find himself on this as well. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed the features on this album. The features, in my opinion, did lend to the songs and help them to grow and be as good of production as they could have been. That is not to say that the features were needed or necessary, but they definitely helped. Royce to 5'9 finds himself touching upon multiple subjects, including vaccinations, a tin man culture, societal norms, and music. Royce to 5'9 essentially finds himself being on the side of anti-vaxxers. As he explains in one song, he took a child of his in for a vaccination, and his child ended up with autism. To that end, I do want to say that while he may not while we may not know everything about autism and its developments and how it comes about we can say that there are, have been science experiments to show that there is no direct correlation between vaccinations and autism i say this because with 
everything that is going on right now, especially the coronavirus. I don't want people to listen to this. And because Royster59 being who he is, people take him at his word and stop going to get vaccinated, which could in turn um, create a more widespread problem. I am not saying this to downplay or to ignore any of Royce's information, but also to say that it should be taken with a grain of salt and that this is his personal story. He also touches on what uh, what is one of my favorite uh, topics throughout the album, a tin man culture. And by that, I mean people who are willing to work themselves to death for money or success or to get where they want to go. But neglect themselves ultimately ending up breaking their own heart or ending up heartless on the way or just ultimately forgetting who they are and in 2020 i feel like that is something that can be seen all over the place and something that should especially be paid attention to which is why i thoroughly enjoyed listening to royce talk on this subject he even goes as far as to talk about social norms such as sacrificing yourself for success or what others are willing to sacrifice for success or breaking a cyclical curse um, in the form of talking about one's parents and their shortcomings or things that they had struggles with and overcoming those yourself and being better as the next generation. And of course, Royster59 finds himself speaking on music where he talks about owning your own masters, you know, creating art for the sake of art versus creating art for the sake of the dollar. And not just that, he goes even deeper to talk about images of musicianship, like what it means to have your own image in today's music industry, where we find ourselves being a cookie cutter industry, especially if you wanna make it to the mainstream where everybody seems to be. Production wise, this album is incredibly solid. I did not find myself disliking any of the production on this. And in fact, I to this day find myself going back and replaying almost the entire album because like I said, there was not much that I disliked production wise. This may be incredibly surprising, but having produced this entire album himself, which is a new venture for Royce to 59 I find that he did an incredibly good job. The production lends itself well to the lyrics. I find it hard to pick one song that fails to follow through production-wise with what I associate Royce and his cold and calculated lyricism with. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this album and I would like I said, go back to this time and time again. I do not think that this is an album that necessarily has a shelf life. I definitely think that this is going to be an album that years from now we'll be, we will be able to look back and see some of the same issues that he was talking about in society. What would have pushed it to a 10 for me, honestly, is just seeing a more broad range of features on here. Like Black Savage, I thoroughly enjoy the diversity in those features, but it does seem as though throughout the album, Royce returns to the same features stylistically, not necessarily person-wise. Although in some cases he does have the he does have multiple multiple features from the same person. I do find myself um, wishing that Royce would branch out just a little bit more. Um, because I know there are a few artists that would be able to lend themselves quite well to a album of this magnitude. Whew. Okay, so I got through that. Those were my thoughts on the album. Feel free to down below drop what your thoughts were on the album and feel free to of course suggest what you think I should review next. I loved it. This was incredibly exhilarating for me for lack of a better word this was really fun i enjoyed being able to dive deep into an album as i usually just listen to for let's say the lyrics or whatever i never you know take the time to continually go back and review an album and its themes its production and all that so i do intend to keep doing this because there is going to be some great music coming out there's already been great music that has come out in 2020 and i just cannot wait to be able to share my thoughts with you guys like i said please feel free to let me know what you guys thought below how you guys felt about 
my opinions what are some of you guys's opinions um yeah I, I i cannot wait to get this underway and, and and continue you know giving you guys more reviews um of course i feel like i don't need to say this but this does of course need to be said this is just my opinion these are just my thoughts these are not an absolute end all be all this is what it is and so yeah Please take everything I said with a grain of salt, just like I suggested you take what Roy says with a grain of salt. Um, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace!